hello everybody, my name is Mike from Ad Gaming, and welcome to Sally Face. Now, episode 5 of this has just come out, but I've not actually ever played episode 1. So I'm going to be starting a brand new game today, and I'm going to be doing an episode a video. At least that's the plan, anyway. That means they will come out quite slowly. I'm probably going to be doing maybe one a week at the moment. We'll see how it goes over the Christmas period. Can I just say, this menu music is freaking awesome! Anyway, I've had a lot of requests to play this. A lot. So let's get straight into it. I actually just booted the game up to see how it recorded. I have to do that. It's just a thing. I've not seen any story shit so far. It was just like the last time. Only this time. It started in a hospital. So we have a character called Sally Face. I don't know a great deal about this game. Other than it's apparently really, really good. Okay, we're going to answer the phone. So it's like a side-scrolling game. It's not point and click as far as I'm aware. It's just a side-scrolling kind of horror game with a lot of story shit. Okay, let's answer the phone. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything's gonna be okay now. Come and see. Okay, and I know it's not voice acted, so I will be doing the voices for it. So that's either a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, who is this? Sal, come and find me. I love the picture of the dog on the wall. Look at this. It's beautiful. Weird. Sound like my dad. Uh, what happened to your face, Sally? I noticed on the menu you were wearing a mask. The hell's that about, eh? I don't know why we pushed that. Oh, what, what? What's this? Looks like there's something there, but it's too dark to see. Oh, we're gonna go turn the light switch on. Where is the light switch? Look at that doge! That's a beautiful doge. There we go, we turn the light on. Look at that beautiful doge! Oh my god, his face is bloody and horrible. I mean, if my face was like that, I guess I'd wear a prosthetic. There's a key. A key? Okay. Okay, let's have a look at inventory. We've got room five key. Okay, I found this. Found the key I found on the floor in the hospital room. Okay, fair enough. I'm guessing it goes to the door. Why, why, why have they locked me in? Why have they locked me in? And why was the key in the room? And why is that now bricked up? What the hell is coming on? I'm expecting weird shenanigans, a bit like Franbo. Oh god, it's one of these kind of hospitals. Okay, that ain't the right room. Wrong door, apparently. B? No! Oh, that's a horrible... Oh, that sounds like a nail, like chalk on a chalkboard, like... Down the chalk. Oh, no, that's not right. Oh, God, that sound is horrid. I hate it. Oh, it sounds shivers down my spine. Anyway, we're just going to ignore the doors. Oh, no, I have to go through the doors. Okay. Is there anything this way? No, okay, so maybe there's a specific order to the doors, like... Oh, D. Uh, D oh, maybe we're spelling something. So O would be the only logical. Yep, D-O. Dog. Like the doge on the wall. Yeah, d oh. Shit, who died? This is a funeral. Someone died. What? Doggy! Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. What? <laughs> huh? Go see for yourself. I mean, woof. What? I mean, we did see a funeral. Diane Fisher. Mother and wife. Is this... Is this Sally's dad? Mum. Is this Sally's mum? Guess we're going into the grave. Lovely. Oh, why is the, it's the it's the hospital again? It's locked. Battery's not included. Oh, there was a there was a date on that. It was nineteen. It was nineteen forty-seven. I remember the the date on the gravestone. What is all this shit? What is going on? Hey, you've got blue hair. Is this is this your dad, Sal? Sally, is Sally a boy or a girl? Dad? Son. Okay, Sally's a boy. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with calling your boy Sal. You're not my son. My son is not a murder. Wait, hang on a second. D did we kill our own mum? Wow, okay. <laughs> Fucking hell, okay. I knew this game was dark. This is your fault. There is horror aspects to it. I'm not sure it's specifically horror. Mum? 
Are you? What happened to his mom? Oh. What happened to Sally's mom? And that's when I woke up. Oh, it was a dream. We were telling our therapist about it. Okay. Okay, so what's the therapist? Hmm, yes. It's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to the dream later. But for now, you can tell me more about the body. Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. So what's the second one? Dan and I are, Dad and I had just moved. I just called him Dan. It's really informal. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about the place right away. It's a shithole. Addison Apartment. Episode 1, Strange Neighbours. As I said, there are five episodes to this. All of them which are out now. Um, I've now only picked it up. There's Sal. Sal's dad. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Yeah, that's a good idea, Sal. Again, I think something happened to Sally's face. Because it was all bloody. Hence why Sally wears a mask. I mean, if my face was completely fucked up, then I guess I would wear a mask as well. I don't know where I'm going. Hey, Dad, again. Can I have that money that's behind you? Hey, kiddo. Decided to take a break from unpacking? No, I literally just walked in here, Dad. It's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. Okay. I miss Mum. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. Hey, what do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we'll make a real home here. Okay, see ya, Dad. Try to get into too much trouble. I'll try, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Let's just explore all the rooms. Sal's right. Oh, we got a kitty cat. Gizmo! I see you made yourself a home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. Oh, kitty kitty cat. Oh. Gear Boy. I was wondering where that was. It's like a Game Gear slash Game Boy. Two competing handheld devices from my youth. Okay, where's the Gear Boy? My Gear Boy looks like it needs new batteries, though. Okay, so it's got point and click elements to it. Because we're actually picking up items. Uh, we can leave the apartment, but I don't want to leave yet. I want to explore. Let's see what we've got. We've got a bathroom. Anything nice in the bathroom? The sleep aid. That's the trouble sleeping at night after. Yeah, that's something really bad happened to this family. <laughs> oh, bags. Just some stuff that I got from the store. Nothing important. But if it's food, then it is important, right? Well, I guess we're leaving now, because that's literally all we can do in this apartment. Let's go and explore the apartment building, then. Okay, we're on f room 402. Hello, Inspector! How's it going? You've got a lovely handlebar moustache. Hello! Cops, he's not even talking to me. Why are you standing there? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now, scram! I don't get paid to babysit. Okay, who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What's it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Alright, all right, mate, go for yourself. Police business, kid. Why don't you run along about your parents? I, w I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. It's what I thought. Stupid weirdo, kid. <laughs> okay, let's just walk away. Apparently, he ain't letting me through there. There's been a crime, probably a murder. No one's home. Let's go to knocking on random apartment doors, shall we? Or we could just go down the lift. I guess that's also an option. Okay, which floor? We're on floor four now. Oh, I just pressed four again, didn't I? Yeah, I'm dumb. Okay, I want to go. I want to go up. Let's go to floor five. Top floor. Oh. This floor is currently being renovated for your safety. Please make your way to the nearest exit. Or I could say, fuck the police. I'm exploring. Although they're all locked anyway, so... it's actually no... Probably reason for me to be up here. It's locked. Let me guess. This is locked. <gasps> it's open. Uh, hello? There's a... There's a, there's a tram pop here. Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello? Sir, are you okay? He's not okay! He's rocking backwards and forwards like he's on some shit. Look at him. 
You shouldn't have come here. I I'm sorry, I was just trying to know my new neighbors in a dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you, are you sure you're okay? Oh, what? Who? <gasps> He's gone. He's a stealthy tramp. What the? Who knocked? Where the hell did he go? Mmm, was he just a figment of my imagination? I oh, guess weird. The bathroom is locked. Huh. Who knocked? Who who knocked? Who knocked and distracted me enough so the tramp could slip away? It's not on! It's not on! Okay, we're just gonna go down the floors now. Floor three. Oh, caution wet floor. We ain't going that way. There is somebody there! We can't go that way. No one's home. Oh, who are you? Are you the janitor? Hey! Oh my! Sorry, it just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name's Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. See, if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Ah, oh, well, at least she seems nice. And that's all we could do on this floor, because there's wet floor signs, and we obviously... I mean, we could sue them for a lot of money, but we won't. No one's home. Okay, we're just going to knock on everybody's doors to see what's going on. Charlie. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. Just want to introduce myself to the neighbours. Okay, come in. Who's Charlie? I might have to change the voice depending on... Oh. Oh. Okay. He's got my little fucking ponies. This guy's a proper, like, nerd. Hi, my name's Sal. Just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Oh. I oh, know, young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young myself, I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything, you're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful, well I'm Charlie, don't mess with my stuff, we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see, I collect many things. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family, got it? Yes sir, no problem, I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. All right, well, look. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. Great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? No! Oh! I think we've just upset him. Oh, he looks pissed. Look at those chins. My god, child, have you not seen My Glitter Ponies Rainbow Spectacular? It's the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies, don't even get me started. Mmm, yeah. Uh, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Pretty sure I will regret it. So, I'm gonna leave. Pretty sharpish. My god, that man had many chins. Also, didn't look like he'd bathed in a while. No one's home. This is a. Someone's doing some woodwork. Alright, let's knock on the door. Oh, I guess no one's home. Well, I'm pretty sure there is, because someone's doing woodwork in there. Alright, doing some weird carpentry. I thought I had a goat as well. Okay. First floor. We need a key card for the basement. Hey, Addison. Oh, is that the guy who owns the apartments? Yes, it is. Oh dear, what a frightful... Uh, pardon me, let's start over. Okay. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Cre creepy man. I'm glad I picked that voice now. Gonna come in. Heavens no. I'm afraid I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Okay. Bye. Farewell, friend. Mr. Addison. Mr. Timberlake. Okay, no one's home. Oh. Yeah, what you want? You're early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? 
Uh, Stay be careful nothing, kids. Alright, well, she looked like she had some type of very horrible disease. Her skin was all pockmarked and it looked a bit disgusting. I can't go to the basement. Okay. Is there anywhere else I can go on this first floor? Because I didn't actually check this area here. No one's home. Oh, hello. Who are you, Luther? What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Uh, yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Since you two were out of state when everything happened last night, I told you there had been a murder. I told you. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Bye. So long. Later's Luther. We call you Luther. But I guess that's it. Do we go back to Dad now? Let's go back and see Daddy Boy. We've, we've met all the colourful characters of the apartment building. Yay! They seem all so friendly. Especially the guy with multiple chins. Alright, where's Dad? Alright, Dad, how's it going, mate? Hey, kiddo. Okay, I miss Jersey. Is that it? I know you do, bud. Please try to give it a chance. School starts in a couple of weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone lucky to have you as a friend, Sal? Thanks, Dad. Hmm. Okay, is that it? Oh, we can talk to Lisa again. Wow, okay, there's like loads of stuff we can say to Lisa. I was wandering around, and our goal was still explore the building. Okay, so how long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Gone on 10 years now. Um, what the others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain about all the little small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. There's no way to live, you know. You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff, focus on what makes you happy in this life, and you put your energy into that. Okay. Um, let's change the subject. Okay, do you know anything about what happened in 403? Okay. Shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not set your mind on such dreadful things. Okay. Uh, is this building haunted? We'll ask that in a minute. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Sweet, so we got our, our key card for the building now. This is building haunted. Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of Addison Apartments for a long time and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Alright, cool. Well, I've got the key card now. So we can now go to the basement, which is kind of what I was looking for. We can go meet Larry, her son. I'm sure he's going to be perfectly normal. Everyone else in this place is absolutely normal as anything. Vending machine. Also tasty junk food. Not really hungry though. I am. I want some chocolate, man. Give me the chocolate. Is this Larry? There's Larry. Okay, he looks fairly normal. He's in the bathroom taking a shit. Larry! You take a shit! You come in! What the hell? Um the hell was that? There's a fucking red-eyed ghost in the kitchen. And she told me that this place wasn't haunted. Mm. Okay, keep out. Larry's room. Okay, I don't know what Larry speaks like, so... Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry, your mum's like could come say hi. I just moved in next into 402. Oh, hey, come in. Door's open. How does Larry speak? We're going to give him a voice. Oh, man, he's like proper, like... Oh, man. He's a like proper stoner voice. Okay. Whoa. Nice mask. It's a pretty sweet old mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh shit. Sorry, man. That's cool. I'm used to much worse by now. So I'm glad you like it. So 
do you like have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. Let's move there with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face. I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I think if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. <laughs> oh, that's what your mum said, too. Mother knows best. Okay, well, why'd you live in the basement? My mom always says because we guard the place from rats. Well, I'm pretty sure she gets the room rent free with the maintenance gig. It's cool though, I don't mind it. I can listen to music as loud as I want and she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like a shirt. Thanks. It stands for South Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so. <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Stanley's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's got to change. Check out this song. It's the first single. Full album comes out in a few months. Okay, let's give it a listen. Okay, so far so good. Mm. Oh. Right. Bit screamier than I like, but okay. Oh yeah, Larry! Okay, right Larry, cool. What happened to 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What, what is it? The killer's still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. It's some scary shit. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mr. Sanderson with a clock toilet. I was just fishing up when I heard him burst in like, yelling like a lunatic. I, I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she gave him a few words out, he was cutting the fruit wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and he cleaned up quickly and left. I, I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. I ain't my mom, but I trust you. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big crit. Oh, the, 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 the many chins guy with the ponies. Big Creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Uh, should you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he wouldn't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. <laughs> okay. Okay, what's up with the guy in 103? The Addison. That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks for his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, you say add some tea, please and thank you to him. He'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the animal seems to love it. Okay. Sure. Okay, talk to Larry in the basement. That's that's exactly what I'm freaking doing. Okay, that's all we can say to Larry right now. Radio. What's this thing? That's uh it's a police scanner. I can listen to our local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day, but hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract him long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show a detective, something they weren't looking for. Very quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and... I'm just messing with you, I'm totally up for this. Someone wanted to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call a bank robbery, hostage situation, that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do it though, so you can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too, once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe I'll just switch bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or a drugstore. Maybe make it a little bit more believable. Huh, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press that Y button here to call me. Okay, so that's Y button on the control log. So I'm using an Xbox controller. Okay, let's go in Larry. Lisa? Who's Lisa? Oh, Lisa's his mum. Right, so there's ghosts in the building. There's been a murder in the building. There's a creepy hobo in the building. There's lots of weird shit in the building. Is there anything in these boxes I can use? Um, Gee, I'm sure looking forward to using this. Not. What, the laundry? Well, yeah, I can't imagine you're 
particularly looking forward to it. But you have to wash your clothes. I have to do it. Okay, so we're in 402. So we go into our apartment and we call Larry. Okay, I'm in my room now. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get in 403 now. Okay, right, let's go. Okay, secret mission. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they've gone. And the music's gone. Okay, let's sneak in. This is gonna be fucking gruesome. Holy shit, it is. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? This looks like junk to me. Alright, I keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Alright, there's a chalk outline. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. Oh, fucking ponies. These are little figures. Looks like one's missing. I guess there's a small clearing in the blood. Huh. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Okay, so he, he killed her to steal a pony. What a dickhead. Unless he's being set up. Uh, possibly. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Anderson got the super rare one or something. Just telling me about it the other day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I won't be surprised if that's what he offered her in the first place. Dude always gave me the creeps, like something unsettling him about him, you know. Is it all the chins? Oh, this is crazy. You got nothing needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly, that's why I gotta get in Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? He's looking for a three. Charlie is too fond of me. There's no way he's let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks? Fucking fatty. Alright, alright, I'll do it. What are we gonna sleep at night otherwise? Cool. You're a man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why don't I get the feeling you've done this before? Huh, <laughs> nah. I just watch too much TV. Alright, Larry. Alright, Larry. I'm game for this. You seem like a cool dude. So, we're gonna sneak into his room and we're gonna nick his toy and there's probably gonna be blood on it. Most likely. Okay, he's in... 2 or something, I think. Uh, here it is, 204, Charlie's place. Hello, Charlie. Right, it's one of these and it's gonna have... <gasps> it does have blood on it! Holy shit! Okay, how are we gonna... How are we gonna take this? Okay, I... Uh, wait a second. Wait a fucking second. I've just had a mega brainwave. Right, so... Back in our apartment, there are some sleeping tablets, right? And also, we were told about the tea. So, I'm wondering whether we get some sleeping tablets. We get a cup of tea, we stick the sleeping tablets in the cup of tea, and then... Oh, hello, Mr. Policeman's back again, okay. So, we ain't gonna be able to go back in there, but that's fine. So, yeah, we wanna go to the bathroom, we wanna get the... Sleeping pills. Here they are. Sleep aid. Okay, no, we can't pick them up. Maybe that is what we do. Maybe I'm just jumping the gun a little bit. Maybe my brain's firing way too quick for this game at the moment. Okay, but he did say about the tea. Let's try getting the tea. That's a, that's a thing. Okay, Mr. Addison. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments. Uh, as a tea, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. What is in this tea? There you are, sir. Please enjoy. I like a cup of tea as much as the next person. But... As is tea. That's a funny smell to it. Definitely not drinking this stuff. I wonder if it's drugs. I bet it's drugs. I'm gonna say it's drugs. Okay. So, we maybe give Charlie the tea? I still think we put the... Oh no, it's wrong floor. I still say we put the sleeping tablets in it, but we can't seem to like pick them up at the moment, so... Maybe that's for future. Let's go try talking to Charlie again anyway, because... That might be how we actually do this. Because I can see the blood on it, I know. Okay, so... Yeah, I know, you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Uh, nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. Uh, do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you, I've all the company I could ever need. 
Well, it's nice to have a visit from time to time, I suppose. Okay, can we... Oh, it's Addison tea, I smell. Yeah, I've got some from... Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh, so tasty. So relaxing. Oh, he's falling asleep. We can... Oh, I must have dozed off for a second there. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, Sal. I started to like you. I wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good. I'm glad. So if you got any more Addison tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. It's fucking drugs. I know it's drugs. Right, okay. Some, yeah, so it's relaxing. Mm, okay, maybe now if we get the tea first, then get the sleeping pills. I'm pretty sure that's how we do it. Aha! That's it! I knew it! Okay, so we had to use the tea first. This one not that fat bastard out for sure. Okay, here we go. So we've got the, the sleep aid in the tea. Cool. Right, I, 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 as I said, I, I kind of guessed that was what we had to do. There was obviously just a sequence of events we had to do first. Right, here we go. Got another cup from Addison. As much as I love that stuff, I don't know if I could drink and have a cup drop today. As surprising as that sounds. Really? But it's fresh. Nice and hot. Well, maybe. No, I don't ever do it. I've probably had at least 20 cups today. Be positive. This is a... Uh, this is a new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out. I only had three cups, and I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even... Oh, I have to try that. Give it here. Have the sleeping tablets. And... Sleep. Oh, this is better than the original. I don't know how we... Sleep. There, we got it. Got the toy. Score. Okay, let's get out of here. We need to go back to the basement now. Hopefully he's asleep for a while and doesn't wake up in a fit of rage and try and kill us because we stole his toy. Because that would suck. Right, Larry, my man, I got the toy. Where are you going? There you are. Okay, I got the toy. All right, Mr. Smooth Criminal. I know you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to do is give that dad detective and I'll be over. Right, so is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Did Chuck put you up to this? No, I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chuck? He's a big kid on three. You should can't miss him. But anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw them in my own eyes, you know? I guess so. Okay, I'm not going to play Sanity's Fall again. I'm just going to go give the evidence to the cops. Although I can't imagine they're going to be particularly happy that we've been doing their police work for them. In fact, I imagine they're going to be pretty suspicious. But never mind. Here we go, Mr. Police Detective. Hey, Detective. Hello, Sal. Uh, I've got evidence. Let me see that. Let's get from Charlie's room. How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie and he was showing me all of his toys. It's funny to notice this one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well. A little detective in training, eh? Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time you come to us with this info, instead of putting yourself at risk. Okay? Yes, sir. You got it. Right. Oh, he's left. We can out, like, enter this area. And then we can leave the apartment if we want. Okay. Oh, he's outside now. <gasps> they arrested him! Good work, Sal. You can rest easy now. Well, that was bloody quick. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. Well, okay. Well, not so innocent, I guess. What's this? Coronor. No one was around, so I looked into the back window of the van. Whoa! Such a horrific sight for someone to see, let alone a young child as you were. Fifteen years old and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. I thought he probably was. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, you've so you've said. 
What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost her in touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. He seemed to be upset by my mention of him. It's just, I don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Okay. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial. I thought he was wearing an orange jumpsuit. He's on trial? So I'll let, you let, you help, let me help you. He's on trial. For what? I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. They think Sal's a murderer. Oh, boy. You might be the only one. Well, shit! Okay. Sal. Sally, where are you? A what? What? You were playing as Sally as a little boy. I thought that was the end for some reason. I thought I was like, oh, that was the end of episode one, but apparently, no, it's Sally's mum. Don't wonder if so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy mum. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please? Please can I go pet the doggy? Alright, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay! I'll wait over there by the trees. Alright, Mum. I'm going to go wave by the tree to see the doggy. The doggy that I spoke to before. Who said he buried someone alive, but it's still a doggy. Doggies are cute. Doggies are not sinister in any way. There's a lot of trees here. Oh, well, what was that? Um. My face is bleeding and everything's falling to pieces. What the hell is going on? Some serious shit going down in this case. There's dog collar, dog bones, a bag. What? What? Okay, sure. Enter the bloody ambulance. And I don't mean the bloody ambulance. I mean the bloody ambulance. Oh. I'm sorry, what? This is Mrs. Sanderson. How? How did... We only just... Sur Thank you so much for coming to help with the toilet. No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I, I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The Larry? I'm not Larry, I'm Sal. The bathroom's just over there. Is it trying to say that Larry killed her? I don't believe that for a second. That is a... The fuck happened to that toilet? Someone was just, like, having a piss on it and decided to just, like, sling the dick everywhere. Spray piss all around the toilet seat, on the floor, and clog out with the toilet tissue and the piss in it some more. And they've done it over a few days, mind you. That's, that's not, like, that's not an instant project. And then they've slammed the toilet seat several times and smashed it. I'm afraid I'm going to need more than a plunger to fix this. And it's a, it's a living toilet. Oh, it ate us. Now we're in the sewer. Right, this, this game is trippy as balls now. What the hell is going on? I have no idea. We were solving a mystery and then Sally's murderer and then we are in the sewers. That's some weird shit. And there's ghosts? There's a lot to, there's a lot to digest in this. A hell of a lot to digest. But then I guess it's five episodes so I guess, you know, it, it will explain itself over time. And I'm not really supposed to. Maybe I should look around first. What are these switches all about? 
I'm very confused. Um, okay. Hi, Pony. You there. Please, help me. What's wrong? The water. It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please, hurry. Well, there's a, one of those My Little Pony things with that's alive and... Yeah, okay, so this is what the switches are for. No, okay. Maybe there's a particular order to the switches. Okay, that's a green switchy switch. So that's that one done. Then maybe it's this one? But then there's one at the top as well. No, okay. Hopefully that doesn't reset the progress I've made on the other switch. Let's see if it does or not. Is this one green? Is this one green still? It is green. Okay, so it's just a case of flipping them in order. Is it this one? Yeah, okay. So that one, and then the one down below. Was this anything? No, nothing that way. And there's one downstairs here. Over this way in the corner, right? Here it is. It worked. Okay, well that was a pr pretty simple puzzle. Pretty damn simple. There we go. Oh, now we're using the pony's corpse as a bridge. And now we've escaped the wrath of the toilet. Look. Oh, it's... Well. So Larry saw what happened. Whoa, he saw a shadow of what happened and then he legged it. Oh, oh, what? Um, right, we're just gonna walk out the map. So, come closer. I have something to show you. Do you really? Is it a knife? No, it's, it's a zip. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. Apparently not. Apparently it was just one of his nightmares. Different dream then. Oh, episode two, The Wretched. Right. Okay. Well, that was episode one. I'm going to be leaving this episode here. For today, we're going to be playing an episode per video. Um, so I have been told that some of them are longer. The first one was the shortest one. And then some of them are uh, like one and a half to two hours long for subsequent ones. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe for new daily videos. And I'll see you again soon.